Alright, hello guys, it's Rodrigo, 523 Sly, and I just got less water, so I should be able to do this. Anyway, so this is episode 3 of my Akron Rebuilding Dynasty. I'm sorry I hadn't done an episode in a really long time. I've been on break from school, and on break, I haven't touched my computer once. I'm on my computer for my first time in a while, so yeah, sorry about that. And also, I haven't had any... I've, I haven't really been at my, I've really been at my Xbox, at my mom's house, my Xbox, and so I need to get some clips, and I, so I need to go into standard AV instead of playing an HD, because I don't have an HD recorder, but anyway, so right here, I just started out the thing with some recruiting, uh, anyway, so. I'm gonna, anyway, so today I was in a good mood anyway, early this morning, because I might have froze my ass off, but we played hockey today in PE, and hockey is one of my favorite sports, like, in the world, so, yeah, right here, just some recruiting to show you that I, to show you, to let you guys feel into this, and what we've been doing, I've just been recruiting for, not like, super, small recruit and not like a small name recruits that are still seem like they would be good and I've been getting some gems anyway so I haven't recruited uh, I'm not sure what I've been doing with my dynasty or recruiting at all because I told you I've been on Xbox in a while and so yeah and I think right now with the game took the start so As we scout this guy, and as you see, like we have three star recruits, which is kind of good, especially for when they end up getting like plus two the first time I scout them. So, yeah, I think right here I finished recruiting. Get, yeah, so it's a game versus number 25, which is led by the quarterback Logan Thomas. And this time, I just didn't really feel like doing anything, so. I didn't really feel like doing anything, I just finished homework, and I think I'm going to start recording for episode 4, right after this commentary, and, might, and I might do some Call of Duty gameplay, because I haven't done a single Black Ops 2 video yet, and so, so yeah, it's number 25, give me 10, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go by last name, I don't feel like grabbing a piece of paper and writing down all the scoring plays and the players' full names, so all I am to really tell you is that they're led by Logan Thomas. I knew the name of the running back, I forgot it, and so, and we have more, I can't wait till next season to see the recruit a quarterback, because, let's see this game, not only last game, we could have won the Moore's not overthrows, but, you know, still Clay Moore has some experience, I'm not sure if he's a junior, I, I think he's a junior, but he still transferred from the FC school. I showed this because it's a major upset. And then Miami also upset Kansas State to go 2 0. And anyway, so yeah, I'm so home. So the first drive, Jimmy Tech, we ended up stopping them. I'm sorry my voice is low. It's not like super late, but you know. Everybody, not everybody's, people starting to come home now, so I'm not trying to be too loud. And right here's Clay Moore, third and ten on our first drive, trying to get something going, and he throws the ball way out of bounds. And so Jimmy Tech has some momentum going on, and I get the ball, and third down, we're trying to stop him, go to field goal, and Logan Thomas, with his scrambling ability, just goes right by defender. And first and ten, they're driving, and wide open, and wide open is Roberts, and it's a throw for six. So Virginia Tech is scheduled to win this on paper, and then Taylor, middle linebacker, tears us up this game, I believe. And he picks off Clay Moore after trying to force it. And here we put in our senior Dalton Williams, our backup, same overall and everything. I think Clay Moore's a junior, from, he's a transfer from, I believe, Arkansas, or no, Ole Miss, yeah, 
<laughs> so here's Logan Thomas on fourth down, they're going for it and trying to stop it. And there is a nice play from. God damn it. Well, that's kind of disappointing. I thought it showed the names of Mac Jersey, but here's Clayton Williams on third down and mixed first throw and he won that week. And it'd be a great accomplishment you know, if we put our backup quarterback in and he'd be able to pull off the upset on Jimmy Tag. Anyway, so he tries to force a throw and the fuller picks us off. So we give the ball back to Logan Thomas with 22 seconds left in the first quarter. And third and eight in the second quarter, Logan Thomas drops back. Like and he finds Martin in the end zone for another six. So we can fourteen nothing. Anyway, so I do feel like I've I did play some in Sibley earlier, and I do, and Jackson jumps the route and he takes it for a pick six. And next, and as you guys see, it's almost becoming it's starting to become the national championship game. Uh, uh, it's starting to become a blowout, but anyway. So next match. Hopefully it's a little more exciting. I'm gonna try a new different type of pumps right in here. We're trying to field goal with some events are coming. Line it up and Fox makes the field goal. I think he's one of the best players on our team actually because he has not, he has pretty good lane. So it's 321 and we're trying to stop the team tech. He did any events coming, make make a, at least a, only a two session game. And Logan Thomas has all time in the world. He finds Dunn, why, not Wyatt, but he beat his man and just walks into the end zone for six. Right here, we give it to our fullback on fourth down and two. And Rossi goes in and scores a touchdown, so it's 10 to 28. And right here is another upset as Washington upsets LSU 20 to 21, so it's 10 to 31. I'm oh, sorry about that. They got a full goal. And they gave it to their running back. I didn't see his name when he first got the ball. And he takes it for a good, I believe, 88 yard gain for a touchdown. So it's 38 10 for Virginia Tech in the third quarter. And I believe now on, because the game starting to become a little bit uninteresting. As you can tell, it's starting to come blow out. I've just been doing scoring plays. Here's Thomas, stop back, goes to Phillips, runs over cornerback, and he goes into the end zone for six. And so it's 45 10, Jim Tech. And right here, uh, we subbed in back Clayton Moore because we realized our back quarterback was as accurate, and he finds Sewell down the field for a nice, it's about 60 yard touchdown, I believe. Make it 17 45. Jenny Tech still, and here's Thomas, all the time in the pocket, finds Holmes, he beats three defenders, and he goes to the end zone, 52-17, and right here, Virginia Tech just takes a kneel down to end the game, and anyway, so that's just it for episode three, and Akron is starting off 0-2, and best coach ever, hasn't done as much as he can right here, come back for episode four, where we versus Minnesota, Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked it and subscribe for more. And peace.